perimeter versus area versus volume. So when you're thinking about perimeter and area, this is when you're identifying with a two-dimensional shape, so a flat shape, versus volume, which is a three-dimensional shape, like a cube or a rectangular prism. So each one of these has their own formula. Um, I'm gonna start with perimeter. So perimeter, a good way to think about it is to see the word rim inside perimeter. This is like the fence of your yard, the outside of the shape, as if we were to take the outside and stretch it into one straight line. So the easiest way to figure that out is to add together the sides. For area, it's the space inside the shape. So you need to think about in terms of how many square units fit inside. And we would use length times width to find area. For volume, we would need to multiply length times width times height to figure out the amount of space a 3D object takes up, how many cubes or cubed units would fit inside that space. Okay, so for perimeter, where our example for our triangle is each side being three yards. And to figure that out, we would add three plus three plus three to make nine yards. Know with perimeter that you're adding all sides, no matter how many sides, together. For area, we have five inches and two inches. So to find the area, we simply need to find the space inside the shape. So I'm going to make my rectangle into an array, five by two, the total amount of square units or square inches is 10 square inches. You could also count the amount of squares inside your rectangle for that problem. So when we think about volume, we're, we're trying to find the amount of space inside the shape. So if we were to fill this cube with water, that would be finding the volume. So my cube measurements here are four feet long, three feet wide, and three feet high. So I'm going to imagine that space again inside that cube. So again, I would multiply four times three times three to find my volume. And because I'm multiplying feet times itself twice, your unit is going to be cubed. Whereas with area, since you're multiplying it times itself once, it would be squared. Okay, so now for a few more examples. I'm going to draw a rectangle and we're going to try to figure out the perimeter and the area of the rectangle. So again, the perimeter is the outside, the fence of your yard, whereas the area is the inside, the actual yard space. Okay, so my symbol here is showing that my shape is a square. Each side is the same length. So I can just go ahead and assume all sides are four centimeters and add four plus four plus four plus four to get 16 centimeters for my perimeter. And for my area, again, I'm assuming all sides are the same length because it's a square based on my symbol. So it would be four times four the total amount of square units inside my shape would be the total amount of squares. I'm just fixing it to make centimeters so that I can remind you that you're multiplying centimeter times centimeter as well. That gives you a square unit, so 16 square centimeters. For my next example, this is something that came up a bit in your packet. It's when you have two shapes that are 
connected or combined in some way. And we're gonna find the area and perimeter of these as well. So the perimeter, as you can see, is going to be longer than four sides. It's going to have one number for each side pictured. So I have four meters by six meters and three meters by eight meters. So I can assume that these are rectangles, so the opposite side measures the same length as the side on the others. Okay, so to find the perimeter, I would add all sides together. I can infer that the because eight meters is on my other side there, that part that is not labeled would be four. I would use eight from this side and four from my left side to figure out that that empty space there is equivalent to four. So again, we're just adding all sides. I like to check it off when I have such a large figure with a lot of sides. So I've got four plus four. Plus six plus six. Plus three plus three. Plus eight. And then that opposite side, I would just add four since I already took care of that first four. Okay. And I'm going to do some partial sums to find out the perimeter of this shape. So four plus four plus four makes 12. Six plus six makes 12. plus eight, plus six, so 12 plus 20 plus six, I added my 12 plus eight, equals 38 meters. Area is gonna be a bit quicker. So when you're doing area for a figure like this, you would simply find the area of both rectangles separately and then add them together. So again, I'm going to find the area separately. And then add together. This will be quicker than my perimeter for this problem. So four times six plus three times eight. I'm putting them in parentheses, so I know I have to multiply them first, following the order of operations. So I've got 24 plus 24 equals 48 square meters. I didn't write the unit in my equation, but no, because I'm multiplying units, meters times meters, I'm gonna get square meters for my label. Thanks for listening.